Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'm gonna show how to create landscape animation with using After Effects. Let's get started. So guys, welcome back. And first one, let's select all of them layers and go to click this checkbox for 3D layers. And I will use 3D animation engine with classic 3D. In this time, let's first go to view and choose two views. And this is main view and go to top. We can choose view here. I will use top. And first select this sky layer and press P. Let's go to Z axis and move the back. Let's for now change quality quarter and let's select sky and move to back okay so select sky press s open scale and change scale like this for full screen and let's press p again move to back more and change scale so in this time let's select these layer clouds and press p let's move to back here and change scale and move to here okay and layer 3 press P and move to back and press S change scale and move to up and layer cloud 2 press P and move to back chain scale and move to here and layer cloud 1 press P and also move to back and chain scale and move to left so in this time select these layer clouds and lock layers and for now let's go to this icon for take snapshot let's click for snapshot and right now we can see snapshot like this with this button and select M4 layer press P and move to back okay and press S chain scale and right now we can see original image here let's click this icon okay let's move to down and move to right and chain scale more Let's click this icon. Okay, not bad. And select M3, press P, and move to back. And press S, change scale, and move to down. Click this icon. Okay, that's good. And select mountain 2, press P and move the back like this press s chain scale and move to down and see original okay we can move to down a little bit and layer 3 press p and move the back like this and chain scale Okay, let's see. Okay, we can move to down like this. And layer 3 is center. Press P and move to back like this. Press S, chain scale and move to down. Let's click this icon. Okay, let's move to left and change scale more. Okay. And select left side and press P. Also, don't forget to select this house layer linked to left side. Select left side and move to back like this. Press S, change scale and move to down. And move to left. Let's see. 
Okay, and finally select right side and press P and move the front like this. Okay, and follow layer here. And in this time, go to layer new and create new camera tool. And press this, I'm gonna use 15 millimeters, click OK. And move to up. Select camera and press C for control camera movements. Also, we can use these icons. Let's move the back a little bit. Okay, not bad. We can see right side. And let's prepare scene. First, select this left side and press S, change scale and move to here. And press C. Let's see how to use parallax or press C again. Okay, it works. And select sky, press S, change scale more. And mountain 4, press S, change scale. And move to down. And mountain 3, let's see. Let's change scale a little bit. Okay, we can change scale a little bit like this. And mountain 2, chain skill also. Okay, pretty good. And select 3, chain scale also like this for full screen. And 3 center, chain scale. And move to right. Okay. So, in this time, let's go to view and change one view for see full screen animation and select camera let's press C and let's see how to work this scene okay my parallax is down and time to create animation select camera 1 right mouse go to camera and create orbit node and for move the anchor point center hold control double click pen behind icon clearization tool and select null object, press P and let's move to back a little bit okay so let's create new passing keyframe and go to 8 seconds and zoom to scene like this nice let's see okay I like this parallax and let's hold shift press R open rotation create x y rotations and go to last second and for 3d view let's change rotation a little bit to right and change like this let's see okay let's select this last position keyframe and move the left like this and in this time select sky, press S, change sky again and select mountain 4, press S, change scale and mountain 3, change scale also okay, that's good nice so, finally select this layer and go to layer and create new adjustment layer and go to effects presses, search effect snow select cc snowfall, let's use for adjustment layer and change name snow and let's see okay so in this time go to size, let's change sizes like this and wind change a little bit we can play settings for better results let's see in deep, let's change like this for realistic 3d snow okay not bad and opacity change 100 and sizes again change size and flakes not bad so guys final let's add smokes here go to project and create new conversation let's write here smoke click ok and go to shape layers hold this icon let's choose the rectangle tool 
and create one rectangle like this. Clusation tool, go to FS Presses, search FX Wave Warp and select Wave Warp. Let's use for shape layer and change wave width 250 and this 55. Let's see. Okay, and pinning, let's choose here left edge. Okay. And in this time, let's select wave warp. Let's control D for duplicate and change this 350 and this 65. Okay, not bad. And let's try change fees like this for realistic smoke and direction. Let's change direction. And for fix this problem, let's go to FX presets, search FX grow bounds, select grow bounds. Let's use for shape layer and move up and change pixels like this. Let's see. Okay, that's good. And let's go to FX presets again, search FX Bezier Warp, select Bezier Warp. Let's use for shape layer and change Bezier like this for realistic smoke. And back to landscape and go to project, select this smoke. Let's drag and drop into the composition and move to behind of house layer. Press R, chain rotation. and move to here like this change scale press s okay and let's link to house layer and click 3d icon and let's put here again and press s change scale and move it up like this okay let's press t change opacity like this Okay, that's good. So guys, thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like video, leave comments and have a good day. Good luck.